I think you walk through life as an artist looking for confirmation and inspiration at the same time. But my first grade teacher called my mom, said I can't keep this guy in his seat. He finishes his work. He's walking around and helping everybody else. And what do I do? And my mom said, give him something to do. It's obvious that you're not giving him enough to do. So she had a master's degree in art education. And once she saw that I liked to draw, she started feeding me art supplies. I love painting and I love printmaking and, and I was, I liked sculpture too, but I just had the, the fantasy of two dimensions was, was interesting to me. I think imperfection was built into life as a, as a positive force. You walk into a gallery or a museum and you see one of my paintings and it's flat and graphic and tight. Oh yeah, that's, that's all machined out. And then you get up to it and it's all kind of quirky and wobbly and handmade and I don't thin the paint, I don't use tape and so every edge is kind of a negotiation. I will, I will draw things out and then paint them uh, and, and I, will, I will follow the quirks of the drawing, the free drawing, because then my body's engaged. When, I, when I'm working on something that large or even that large, and I'm having to climb up on things to reach the top or, or squat down to get to the bottom, it warps it. If you get up to them and look at them, you see that what you thought from 10 feet away was this crisp hard edge is, is bumpy and it's made by hand and is not really a rectangle because I traced out a rectangle in a template and then I painted it six times and every time I painted it, it would just kind of waver off of that. I don't use rulers. Well, I do use some rulers, but, but usually for the big straight edge, I use a board that I've had for 10 years, you know, that's got a little warp in it. So my grid will have a little warp in it. Probably one of the best ways to say it is, I think with my paintings. I read, I listen to music, I talk to people, I travel, I do all this. It's a distillation, and, and so this is a line of thought. It's a line of inquiry for me and I don't know where it's going and I'm making up the rules. Like I said, I'm asking the question and the answer at the same time. <laughs>